Hey, welcome to Getting It Done North of Seven. Today, we're fixing a home light leaf blower that hasn't been running. Um, I wasn't gonna do a video on this, but seeing we're into this, I thought this would be a good video to show you and show you how to fix this problem if your leaf blower isn't running. So we've already started taking this apart and uh, it's, I could have showed you right from the beginning, but I, did, I didn't realize I was gonna do a video. So this was over here on top. You just undo the screws and you put it there. It's just a cover that goes over the engine. We took the tank out. So what the problem was is the fuel line that goes into the tank here, the fuel tank, it gets brittle right here in the hole and it cracked and it broke off and the pickup tube inside had come apart from the rest of the fuel line that goes to the carb. So you need to replace that fuel line. These get dry and brittle over time. So we got a new line and you don't want to pre-measure this how much you need because you're not sure how much you'll need. So we put it, cut just a good enough length and we ran it through the hole into the tank and hooked it up to the filter. On the end of the filter, there's a weight. So you hook it up here and then you can pull your hose back through the tank and leave the, the pickup tube, or should I say the filter, laying in the bottom here. So now you have this much length of fuel line. So what we did was to get this hose into here, it's a tight squeeze. So you just put it on an angle, say this is a knife, and just, just narrow it down so that you can squeeze it in here, spray a bit of WD-40 on there, yeah. and you can squeeze it through there. Just wanted to show you that part. Yeah, so, so we're gonna hook this fuel line up to this one, this uh, part of the fuel line here. There's a connector on the end of this one. So I don't know if you can see that. We're just connecting them, them two hoses together. Okay, now that this is all hooked up, now you will have to put the tank back in place. So this is the return line. And this is the way it's cut here to go into these skinny holes. Now we'll fit the tank back in place. And there's a rubber mount that has to go in there. Okay, now we can add the cover back on. And don't forget to add your ground wire. So there you go, it works great. And all it was was the fuel line in the tank had rotted and fell apart, the pickup tube fell inside the tank and there was no fuel getting to the carburetor to start it. That's all it is, just a simple fix. I hope this helps you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and we'll see you on the next video.